This morning, we are catching up with one incredibly talented actor. Gabrielle Sidibe earned an Academy Award nomination for her role in the film Precious. And since then, she has gone on to star in hit series like Empire and the creepy American Horror Story. Well, now Gabrielle is going spooky again, lending her voice to a scripted podcast titled If I Go Missing, The Witches Did It. <laughs> she plays Jenna, who has vanished without a trace. The only clue behind, left behind? Voice memos detailing her investigation into a group of witches. Gabroy joining us now. Good morning, Gabroy. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me. Oh, well, it's so terrific having you here. So th this is kind of fascinating. I mean, we're, we're going into October, getting ready for Halloween. So this is timed out perfectly. Uh, but it, it's also, it's creepy, but it's thought-provoking, and, and it's funny. Is that what, what drew you to this project? Absolutely. One, it's officially spooky season and it's time to celebrate. But yeah, uh, the, the podcast is it's hilarious. It's satirical, but also it's a psychological thriller at the same time. And that's pretty much my jam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of that, I mean, American Horror Story Coven, uh, also obviously about witches. Is this just a coincidence or are you drawn to witches and magic? Uh, it seems I have a type. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> I do really, really like magic. You could, you should see me at a magic show. I scream at every trip. Uh, I want to know how they did that. Yeah, I, yeah, I want to know. I, I really want to know. And I'm also, I'm really, really amazed by most things. And I love witches because the thing about witches is, that, you know, they exist. They're mm -hmm. real people. Mm -hmm. And so, and so, it's a, uh, it's really, really cool to sort of give light to, to you know, to real-life magic that we can do every day. Mm -hmm. now, I love that. Now, Gabby, you, you're doing this using your voice, you know, as opposed to, you know, when we usually see you, you know, you're in these dramatic roles or these comedy roles. But d d does it stretch different muscles when, when you're basically are just relying on your voice? Yeah, because not only am I just relying on my voice, I'm also relying on my imagination mm -hmm. quite heavily. You know, like on a set, I have other, you know, other actors. I have, you know, couches or props and things like that and a whole room surrounded, uh, you know, surrounding me for this specific scene. But when it's just my voice, it's just me in a booth with a director. <laughs> and so I have to sort of build the world around me mm -hmm. in my brain you know, while delivering lines. Right, and build the whole world for people's imagination as well. Uh, true crime podcasts exactly. have become, you know, just the thing that's topping the charts, whether fictional or true. Um, do you think, even though this is a fictional story, the fans are still going to try to solve it as, as they would, you know, traditional true crime podcasts? I hope so. I, as a person that I, I listen to a lot of podcasts, <laughs> I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts. And so, uh, you know, as a fan myself, I tried my best to, <laughs> to make sure that the mystery was coming alive mm -hmm. for an audience that can't see it. Uh, and so I do hope that people sort of scream and wonder and sort of try to figure things out along with, with Jenna, my character, as she is speaking through the podcast. Now, a lot of folks listen to podcasts during the quarantine. During the quarantine, I know you did too, but you also, you got engaged. And congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, oh yeah. yes, I noticed that a little <laughs> earlier. Very nice. I love it. And, and you expanded your family. You got a second cat. How, uh, how's that going? I did. I, I got a second cat. He, uh, he just turned one a few months ago. He is a snuggle bunny. Like, Aww. he literally Aww. sleeps on my pillow at night, every <laughs> single night. And sometimes, like, this, mo as I was sleeping, I had to kick him out of the bed quite a lot. <laughs> I do that with my the dog. burrow underneath the it. colors. Uh. It's, How do they breathe under there? So I never though. understand. They love it. For whatever reason, they love it. Oh. Uh, well, Gabrielle, thank you so much. It's so great seeing you. Thanks for, for stopping by. And, in fact, we want to tell folks the first two episodes of If I Go Missing, The Witches Did It, out right now. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.